Hi, I'm Ellie and this is Tech Trix channel. In this tutorial, you will learn to create an amazing reservation system with Google Forms and Google Sheets. You can use this system for your restaurant, gym, fitness club, or anywhere that you need a system for reservation. Okay, let's see how to create it. Let's schedule dates and times with a form. The title can be edited based on your needs. I call it reservation form. To start, I go to sitting on the responses tab. Then I turn on the toggle switch to collect email addresses. All right, let's go to the questions tab to add some questions. I need some personal information to schedule a reservation. So for the first question, I type, what is your name? Here is an icon for inserting an image. And the short answer is acceptable answer for the question. With this toggle switch, I make it required. Now I add a new question with this plus sign. You can find a link to the full detailed tutorial for creating a form in the description and the card. Now for the next question, what is your phone number. Again, the short answer is good, and I make it required. This form, for example, is used to reserve a table at a restaurant. Respondents should pick a table number. So for the next question, choose your table. I should choose drop down for the answer and then add the answers. Table 1, Table 2, Table 3, and Table 4. Now the key point is here. I want to create the following question based on the answer I selected in the previous question. For example, when I choose Table 1, then for the next question, the form shows me the available date and time for this table. For this purpose, I can use Go to section based on the answer option from drop down questions so that users only see certain sections based on their answers. But first, I should add a section. So I click on Add Section. I call the section Table 1. Now I add a new question. Choose a day. Drop down for answers. Now I add some days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. For the next question, choose a time. And drop down for the answers. 8 p.m. 9 p.m., 10, and 11 p.m. Now again, I create another section for table 2. I duplicate these two questions and drag them down under the table 2 section. I do the same for tables 3 and 4. Now I should assign each table to the related section. So I click on these three dots and select Go to section based on the answer. For table 1, go to section 2. For table 2, go to section 3, and so on. After respondent picks the table's day and time, go to Submit Form section. So I assign time question to the submit form section. I do this for all tables. All right, the question is finished. Allow me to test the form. I go to the preview. I type my email address. My name is Elahe. I type random numbers for phone number. 
I choose a table, for example, table 2, and I go ahead and click on Next. As you can see, the form brings the section related to table 2. I choose the day and time, and Next. I assign the time question to the submit section. So bring me the last section. I click on submit. If I return to the form, you'll see I receive one response. Click on this icon to see the responses in a spreadsheet. You have the answers of all questions here. The last step is installing the Choice Eliminator Light add-on. This add-on helps you to eliminate options from a multiple choice, drop-down, or checkbox type of question. But it works better with drop-down answers. In the case of my form, when a respondent chose a time for one of these days and submitted, the following respondent shouldn't set the chosen time anymore. First. I should install the add-on. To install a new add-on, under these three dots, click on the add-on. On the search field, search for Choice Eliminator Light. Now click on that. Follow the steps and install it. The add-on installed. To use the add-on, click this puzzle piece icon and choose Choice Eliminator Light Now Configure. It is super easy. Click on each question that you need to eliminate. I want this add-on for just time answers. Now, let's test the form. I go to preview. Okay, let's answer the questions. I type my email, name, and number. Now I choose table 1, next. I select Friday for the day and 8 p.m. for the time. Now, next is submit. Let's submit another form. I add the required questions. Again, table 1 and next. Now again, Friday. As you see, 8 p.m. is eliminated for time and I can't choose it anymore. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up and do subscribe in case you're not subscribed yet. This is the playlist of Google Form and Google Sheets. Visit them. You will find helpful videos. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good time.